Since today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this 4x4 hipster door. So without further ado, let's get into the video. This is the hipster door here. I try to make it as compact as possible. It's basically too wide with a tiny bit here that's four wide, but that's the act just the activation system on the top. It is using flying machines. I think flying machines have tremendously simplified the making of big doors i'm not saying it is very easy because it isn't always but it is certainly easier so here is the button as you can see it is not the fastest thing but pretty fast uh, walking over this slows you down a bit but unfortunately i can't do anything about that here you do need an immovable block anyway if you press it again very quickly comes back up i wanted to make this as fast as possible i'm very happy how this turned out i compacted it multiple times but finally settled on a design that i'm happy with of course up on the side here you would have your wall like so it looks even cooler yeah really nice really nice anyways jumping down here uh where the chest with the items is these are the items that you need you don't need much in my opinion the observers and of course the slime blocks are the most expensive thing here the iron blocks are just the blocks that you use for for the wall there and the floor okay with all of that in place i like to start things off by making a four long strip of wool here with redstone dust on top of it i'm gonna take target blocks place them all here now i'm placing the droppers here i just place them downwards because i in my opinion it looks nicer here i'm gonna take here block two blocks of wool place both of them here now place a uh, two temporary blocks here take your block of redstone like those go three up with the slime temporary block sticky piston here now we're gonna finish off the wall here like so and the rest and dust on top now it's time for a strip of iron blocks five wide here four wide here we have our button and here we need to place four observers like so with the dots on this side you can see both of the activation system work you can see the arrow on the observer and the redstone lighting up on the bottom there so with that system done we go far up with temporary blocks so for one more here go over those dispensers and place some obsidian like so this is with what will stop our flying machine from flying off into the distance now you take your observers go make a strip of them over the dispensers with the dots of course on the top sticky pistons over that now you need to go first two high with slime blocks here leave a gap two high with slime blocks here fill in the gaps with honey blocks now more observers this time with the dot facing downwards before we place any pistons here i'm going to place the iron so one two three four it should be at the level of the floor like it is right now now coming back to our system we take the sticky piston place a strip of them here 
And now look at the back. On the side, we start with slime. So slime here, gap, slime here, honey blocks here, like so. And we gotta go way up here with the strips up to the top. And I think that's it. Let's see. Perfect! It actually works both ways. First try. So guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a ton of fun to make. The video is pretty short, but the actual development time was quite long. I went through several iterations before I came up with that design. And by the way, guys, my monthly analytics from YouTube came and I am very thankful for, I think, 50 subscribers in a month. That's insane. Before that, I got like 10 subscribers a month. Thank you for the enormous support lately. A thousand views on, I think, three out of four of the last videos. Maybe we hit 2,000 with this. Um, maybe. Oh, and next week's video is a really good one it took me a month to make and that's not the last of its kind if you're gonna support it we'll see anyways guys i will see you in the next one bye bye